Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. Welcome to my kitchen counter. I am vlogging, finally, and I'll be honest with you guys, I've picked up the camera and vlogged a handful of times in the last two weeks, and my heart just has not been in it in terms of like actually completing the vlog or regularly picking up the camera or anything like that. And so I appreciate so very, very much all of your grace with me kind of taking this time to take a step back and figure out exactly what I want to do with this channel, with my time, get my head on straight. I talked about this in a live stream not too long ago and you guys were super, super supportive. So thank you for that. Um, I'm, I'm working on, on getting my groove back getting my groove back. Um, and today hopefully is the day we can start. Today is Monday, July 6th, July 6th. And I just got back from Illinois. So my husband and I actually decided to take a little COVID-19 adventure and we have been isolated since we got home from Florida. And you know, except for the trip to the grocery store and then I recently went and got a facial and then I got a haircut. So except for those couple of instances, we've been completely isolated. He's been the only human I really interacted with. And we went home and saw my family this weekend because they have also been doing everything right, masking when they go out, all that jazz, being healthy. And my dad recently had surgery, nothing major, he's all good, but had a, a COVID test before he was able to go in for surgery and it was negative. So my husband's like, all right, we can go. So we spent the weekend with my parents and with my sisters and with Alice and it was lovely. And I will insert in a couple of clips here. We have the moment we walked in the door on July 3rd, Alice did not know we were coming. So it was a surprise. She didn't act quite as surprised as I had wanted her to, but she was still very surprised. And of course, Gracie was the number one priority. Shut the door. Who is it? Let's see. Gracie, Anna, who is it? Who is it? I told you they're here. You did? Gracie! Hi! Where's my hug? And then I think the highlight of the weekend, truly, as dog parents, our dog learned to love the kiddie pool that was out on the deck for Alice. And it took her, it took her a while. At first she avoided jumping in there. And then by the end of the weekend, she was jumping in there all on her own and having a great, great time. It was so stinking cute. So here are a couple clips from that. Let her try herself. Hang on. Okay, Let's hang see on. what she'll do. She was very close. Where are you going, baby? Oh. <laughs> and this is exactly why we didn't bathe the dog before we came here. Are you crazy, that, little... that one's gross. You know, can you wash that in the water? Yeah, Look, at go, this. Look at this fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> push the other push the other one closer to the edge. Oh, oh, feisty. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. I'm waiting. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Yeah. I got that hammock for $50 from Aldi. That's nice. Where's how you like to play? Oh, Gracie, you're really going to be possessive over the pool. Drawing? Yeah. <laughs> my pool. Oh, there's madness. And then we celebrated my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday is on July 1st, so 
as per tradition, we always celebrate on July 4th because that's when the family normally gets together anyway. And my sister picked up Portillo's cake for us. Yes, you guys know that I love my Portillo's cake and more than the chocolate cake, which is like the iconic Portillo's cake, she picked me up a lemon cake because it's back. And if you guys have been following me for a couple of years, you know that that was my jam. So I got to have Portillo's lemon cake all weekend long. And yes, I enjoyed each and every high calorie bite. Now, the truth is I didn't really track this weekend. I was very mindful. My sister is tracking and doing a stellar job of weight loss and just looks incredible. And so she like, she knows half of the stuff that she was tracking, like the Cornish hens she made for dinner and all that jazz. I got to try the Eat Me Guilt-Free Protein Wraps, which are very, very good. So she would tell me the information that I needed to know. And even if it didn't didn't go in my tracker in my head I was like okay this is higher calorie this is lower calorie and things like that and we had shish kebabs for dinner which was super healthy and it was just overall it was a good balanced weekend I got to interact with other human beings and that felt really really good but now we're here we're back home it's Monday and we are back on track so today I wanted to kind of share with you a uh, this is how I get back on track after a particularly indulgent weekend vlog as you guys know, I use the app iTrack Bites. I am one of their ambassadors. I have the pro version and I currently track the Carb Conscious Plan, which is the equivalent of Weight Watchers Points Plus. However, I'm actually counting calories. They have a feature on the iTrack Bites Pro that is a secondary metric that allows you to track calories right alongside your bites or your points, whatever you wanna call them. And so I have been focusing on a calorie goal and just tracking under the Carb Conscious Plan because I want to see what that ends up translating into. But today we are going to be talking in calories and that, so just so you know, you know. And then today we are also going to, what else are we doing today? I'm grocery shopping. I have a lot of grocery shopping to do, including going to Trader Joe's for the first time since February. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So we're going to Trader Joe's. We're going to Target. We are going to, what was the other store? Sam's Club. I'm going to film hauls from all of that stuff. Actually, you'll probably get the haul for Sam's Club and Target here in this video, but hit that subscribe button if you want to see the Trader Joe's haul because the Trader Joe's haul, when you haven't gone in months and months, is worth its own video. So we're going to Trader Joe's and we are just going to focus on getting back on track and being a little bit leaner today. Oh, and I'm cooking meatless for the first time ever I'm doing oh my gosh I can't remember what what blog I think it's the skinny-ish dish I think that's whose meatloaf I'm making but I'm making meatloaf tonight and it's gonna be very interesting so come along for the journey I'm gonna finish my second cup of coffee and be on my merry way oh also to share between my two cups of coffee, I've had two tablespoons of Nut Pods Peppermint Mocha. Yes, this was hanging out in my basement, and it's good until October of this year. So thank you, Nut Pods, for being shelf-stable. Um, 10 calories a tablespoon, so that's 20 calories and one bite. All right, here's a snack before I go back out to Journey to Target and Sam's Club. This is avocado toast with my freshly purchased Trader Joe's Sprouted Wheat Sourdough Bread two bites on the carb conscious plan per slice, 90 calories, seven grams of protein, two grams of fiber per slice. Amazing. So I have 180 calories worth of that bread topped with the holy guacamole avocado cup, 120 calories, three bites. And I have two ounces of this turkey breast for 60 calories and one bite. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bites total and 360 calories. All right, time for Sam's Club haul. This is Waterloo. I got two cases of it because I actually, it wasn't listed. It was on the floor hiding behind another display. There were only four of them left and I had to get somebody to move a different display to get me what I wanted. So I bought two just in case this variety pack goes out of season. The woman did say it was seasonal. I don't know, I've been buying it for a while. So we'll see. Here's the rest of the haul. Chicken breast, lean ground beef. I bought this mainly because I have to use a pound of it in my recipe tonight for the meatloaf, but I figured it, the way it's air packed and everything, and it was a decent price, so I decided it wouldn't be bad to have that on hand. I also bought a whole bunch of ground turkey. I refilled my husband's bars. This happens every so often where I have to 
get all, he snacks on like one of these every single day. He loves them. We've had them around the house for ages and ages and ages. These are five points plus a piece. These might be four actually. They're very, very good. I enjoy them very much, but not as much as he does. I let him have them mostly. Uh, I got some tomatoes because avocado toast, egg whites, blueberries, raspberries, salsa, uh, Colby Jack sticks for him, st low fat string cheese for me, and our yogurt. I did replenish our allergy medication and my vitamins, which are just one a days. I got a new coffee because I just opened a coffee this morning and I always have two on hand. And then I saw this and I almost bought this at Target the other day, and or I guess last week, and then didn't. And then I saw that it was a decent price at Sam's, so I decided, what the heck. If so, you guys might know that I am real picky about my cold ice, my iced coffee, and even the Starbucks brand iced coffee does not taste as good to me as going to Starbucks and getting an unsweetened iced coffee. I'm hoping that this <laughs> does the trick. If this doesn't taste the way I need it to taste, I am just going to resign myself to the fact that I can never drink store bought iced coffee, it has to be from Starbucks, and that's fine. But I figured I will give this a try, so why not? And that is my brief Sam's Club haul. Now I have to go to Target. Okay, so this is legit. However, I did not follow the instructions on the thing, which is one part concentrate to one part water. I filled this thing up with ice, and then I filled it, oh, up to about here with straight concentrate, and just a splash of water. That is the closest I've ever had to Starbucks unsweetened iced coffee ordering it in the store. Fantastic. Finally, a cold, an iced coffee I can get behind. All right, time for the Target portion of our haul. Today was the day of spices and sauces, apparently. So I picked up this no added sugar ketchup from Heinz. This is for the recipe that I'm making tonight, and that's specifically what it calls for. I got pizza sauce, or Good and Gather organic pizza sauce, light mayonnaise, teriyaki sauce. We got red wine vinegar, uh, Worcestershire sauce. This is also for tonight. Balsamic vinegar. Better than bullion beef base. I have the chicken base and I use it all the time and it's amazing. So I'm okay with getting the beef one too. Also for tonight's recipe. Tomato sauce. Those are from Sam's. Bananas. Almond butter. Smart Sweet Fish, they were on Target Circle for 15% off, so I grabbed the stash, which is two. They're never more than two in stock at a time, so I always buy them. Celery, carrots, apples, broccoli, salad, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, berries. Can you tell this was a veggie run, fruit and veggie run? Peppers and caprese sausages. This is going to go with the cauliflower gnocchi that I picked up at Trader Joe's. So excited about this. Can't even tell you. Socks for my husband. And I got, they've been selling these little fabric masks and I've been wearing my fabric mask all day and now have to wash it thanks to the makeup I had on my face. So I figured this isn't going anywhere, this whole mask thing, not going anywhere anytime soon. So for $4, I got two masks, perfect. Figure I'll use them. And then we got English muffins, eggs, and bread. And that is the Target haul. Also bought some reduced fast also bought some reduced fat Swiss, reduced fat cheddar for sandwiches, and a frozen lasagna to feed my husband. I'm really, really bad at this game. We also have some rotisserie chicken from Oscar Mayer because there was literally zero good and gather meats in the deli meat section. Zero. Oh well. Here's the before of the meatloaf. I will link the recipe I'm using down below, but I'm about to dive my hands in this because that's the only right way to mix a meatloaf. It is part beef, part turkey. We'll see how this goes, my friend. Well, it ain't cute, but hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> and it's huge. It's massive. Massive. Okay, food prep is finally done. We have red peppers here. We have leftover ground turkey. This is the remains of what was open from my Sam's Club size pack. I opened one of them and used one pound of it in my meatloaf that's in the oven, and the rest I made for whatever the heck I want to do with it. Salad toppers, whatever. We've got celery. We've got blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. I think that's it. We got tomatoes to my left. And, oh, 
and my food is about here is dinner it appears to have turned out okay i haven't taken a bite yet but i have the meatloaf one serving is 5.25 ounces and just over 200 calories this is actually six ounces i haven't done the math for just how much that is calorie wise yet and then i have vegetables and my favorite roasted potatoes okay so i know that it is bounce back from the weekend today but you gotta have a little bit of leftover cake for dessert, right? This is the Portillo's lemon cake. I know it doesn't even resemble cake really, but if you are near a Portillo's, I know it's mostly in Chicagoland. If you're near Portillo's, this lemon cake is worth every single bite. Oh my gosh, it is so good. My favorite cake almost ever. Like truly, it's so good. Um, I've already had my piece. My husband and I have just been slowly picking away at the leftovers that my family sent with us. But this is what's left. We were talking during dinner, so I didn't vlog, or during dessert rather. But this is what I ate to finish off my day. Mm -hmm.